I think, yes, we are in live now. So sorry for interruption uh, to audience. And now uh, Sonika come back and uh, now we'd like to discuss about the questions about the London South Bank University. So we don't have any presentation now. Actually, she finished the presentation on offline. She didn't understand that we are disconnected from the live. So now we're going to ask my, some... My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we'll ask some questions and um, then she will answer accordingly. So from the previous live, I got a couple of questions, okay? Which is the first one is, is the South Bank accepting MOI from Bangladesh? Medium of instruction English. So this later. Hi, student. Again, I'm I'm really sorry to drop, you know, from, you know, to drop by from making a presentation. Yes, now I'm here to take your questions. I'm sorry to say that we do not accept MOI. So any student who is keen to apply to us and being accepted, they need to take up the accepted CELT examination, the English language examination. So we accept almost all the popular English language examination, whether, whether it's ILTS, TOEFL, Pearson, Test of English, OIETC passwords or language source. So you have lots of examination. And during the COVID, we also started accepting the online version. So whether it's ILTS indicator or TOEFL home based, uh, we accept all this examination. So you have lots of examination to be taken. So if you want to study with London South Bank University, so please start registering yourself for the English language examination. Yes, there is no waiver. Uh, to get on this examination, you need to sit your English language examination. And something is, it's, it's very important, right? Because academic English is very different from our spoken English. So you really need to be very adept, well-versed. And this is one of our mandatory uh, requirements. All the best for whoever is sitting the English language test. So are South Bank accept, um, uh, accepting any applicant who would require like further English, like precessional English? PSE. So we do not offer a pre-sessional English program to students. So we, we do have a foundation course, uh, but, but pre-sessional is something that we do not accept as part of our curriculum or other courses. Okay. And can you please explain about the most uh, exciting uh, master's program at this moment for a specific in South Asian countries, Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, or Nepali students? Yeah. It, now that, that's a wonderful question, Dr. Shafiq, right? So one exciting course, I, I think uh, exciting courses are, you know, we have seven schools which offer lots of different subject specializations. So talking about some of the popular courses, so we have the School of Business, which offer courses in, in the subject areas of accounting, in finance, in marketing, in HR. Some of the courses also have placements. So, and the courses are also accredited by the bodies, the professional bodies, where a student can become professional once they complete the graduation. So these are some of the very popular courses with the student. The School of Law at the master's level, they do offer conversion course. So any student coming from a non-law background and still would like to you know career head in the subject of law could come and study our conversion program wherein you know they, they can have a very good law career we also offer courses around the school the, the school of architecture and the school of uh, built environment offer courses in architecture which is accredited by the reba level two so it, uh, so these are some of the courses of uh, very popular courses the school of social sciences offer courses around the subject area of psychology so student coming on to our psychology courses can pre-register with the bps society and can again have a very rewarding career and we work very closely with the nhs and other bodies right so most of our courses are professionally accredited are with the right uh, body in the placement or in the awarding body wherein our courses are professionally linked. So these are very interesting subject areas. The School of Computer Sciences does offer courses around the data sciences or artificial intelligence. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. The School of Engineering does offer courses around triple E, mechanical mm -hmm. engineering. Mm -hmm. So I can actually yes, go on percent. talking because these are some of the courses yeah, yeah, which yeah. are very sought mm -hmm. after by students. So I will advise students to understand their specific special specialization uh, subject and then perhaps go on to web pages uh, in the boost education your counseling team is also there to as a student to choose the right course which is based on their uh, you know the background that they have studied 
what's their aptitude, what are their career goals, and even, you know, I am also available to help students in selecting the right subjects. Thank you so much. Thank you. And <laughs> Thank uh, you. can you please uh, talk about um, scholarships? How much scholarship South Bank can offer for international students? And also, uh, I'd like to add some any other discount offer from scholarships because early bird discounts. September is still is far. So if any student make the payment by April or uh, by June, is there any discount for them? Yes. So first thing is that London South Bank University, we are a modern university. So when you look at the other universities, the very highly ranked or the so-called Russell group of universities, the tuition fees are very high. Right. So coming down to us, our tuition fees are only 15,400 pounds. From this, uh, any student, as you said, uh, do we offer early bird discount? Yes, any student who pays the entire tuition fee to us before the enrollment, they get 5% uh, early bird discount. Apart from this, we offer international scholarship to students. So any student who gets an offer from us, they get international scholarship of £1,500, both at the undergrad and at the master's level. So at the undergrad level, each year, the student gets a discount of £1,500. So if a student is coming down to us for three years, so altogether, he gets £1,500 into three, so which becomes £4,500. Oh, pounds. Right. So this is our international scholarship. We also have another scholarship which is very, very popular with students. That's international merit scholarship. So any student coming down to us has a academic uh, percentage of so and so. So I'm not going to talk specific, right, because the admission team decides upon it. But if a student has a good meritorious academic uh, transcripts or document, they call, they get our international merit scholarships. So which is £4,000 at the postgrad level, and it is £3,000 for each year at the academic level. So this really makes our tuition fee one of the most competitive, uh, you know, cost to the students. So we are very generous with our scholarship. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, so there is one comment from audience, so I'm going to pull up and then you can. Uh, he's actually sure. asking, please say something about the study gap. So, so how many years actually South Bank accepting after uh, like after graduation or also after HSC, higher secondary? So can you please okay. explain them? Sure. So this this particular question, it's it's little subjective. So I cannot put a number, but if the student really wants a number, I can say up to five years of gap, right? But we are very keen to understand that what's the reason for the student to have gap. First thing is that student needs to understand that if they have completed the higher secondary and between the degree, if they have, if they are professionally occupied, if they are working, so that's not considered as a gap year, right? So they have to actually yeah. list all their activities on their personal CV and also talk about it on their personal okay. statement. So that's not a gap. But in case if there is a gap, let's say there had been some unforeseen circumstances stances in the family or in the student personal or uh, you know affair if, if let's say for like someone was not well in the family or there had been some financial issues so student really had to take some few years of op or you know break or something maybe a student did not want to continue studies something that has to be rightfully explained now because of pandemic we understand that you know it, during the year 2020 2021 students yes, did have right. some issues every we, we all were actually in a very unreal unprecedented world mm -hmm. so yeah. student really needs to explain the as why these were gap years and it's on to the admissions team to collate the information understand Understand the student's situation we really could relate to it and then take a call answering your question in a very quantitative form up to five years is what we accept okay okay thank you so much and uh, i also i'd like to add here something like in in south asia what happened there like most of the people uh they're you know like uh they're engaging with the family business sometimes okay but they don't like they don't get paid from the family business sometimes so they don't consider as it is a job experience okay so i would i would like to request them to add all sort of experience on the cv they thought oh it is not actually paid from the like business so why should i add there but actually it's not that you have learned so many things from the business 
So this is actually, I, I can say that, that they should you know, explain everything on the CV also. Uh, I saw in Bangladesh also so many students, you know, when they're uh, studying, they are doing some tuition, okay, in different coaching center or maybe in the private tuition. Okay? So they can mention about this experience in their CV. Yeah, the, this, what these are some, yes, just to add on, these actually adds lots of soft skills, the entrepreneurial skills, the lots of different skills that the student gains, whether they are doing their family business or they are teaching someone. And this is what we look at students. So please list down all the various activities, though it might not be very huge, but this is something very important for your profile to fill in. So please have a very well explained, very exhaustive and good listed personal CV. And these yeah. are not gap years. Yes, that's absolutely right. And uh, also, can you please talk about the placement for uh, undergraduate student or postgraduate student? Which course actually mainly focusing on the placement? Yeah. Okay, so at the undergrad level of uh, the School of Engineering, the School of Management, we, we do offer sandwich year. So sandwich year technically is the placement year. That's how we, you know, we actually we, we label it. So the sandwich year is actually uh, the year when a student goes into a real industry, gets some good experience. So this happens in the third year of, the, of their uh, undergrad study. So student works in a real environment, they work with the real industry, have very good experience, come back. Sometimes they are paid uh, by, by, by the company. So this is the sandwich year at the undergrad level. Most of our courses, they do offer sandwich year in the third year. So any student who is looking for the sandwich year needs to have that placement year in between, have hands-on or work experience should apply for the sandwich year. And that's very important, right? So even if, like, like, let's say when the student is on the program and the situation has changed and he doesn't want to do it, he can always go to his academic uh, program or, or the course director and can say that, fine, I don't want to do the sandwich year. But it's very important for students to apply for the sandwich year. They also get some the longer visa duration, right? So these, uh, you know, th this thing is very important for students. Now, students who are coming down to us at the postgrad level, there are, you know, different courses where we do offer placement years. The school of uh, business uh, across the subject areas of international management, HR, marketing, uh, we, we do offer placement years to students. So, is, uh, there, is there any tuition fees for the placement year? The, if the, how much is you need to pay? So absolutely, when you say in terms of tuition fees, there is no tuition fee. But since as, actually as the course is differently structured, the entire the compliance process and the course structure process is different. The tuition fees for our internship courses are around 16,000. So it's 1,000 pounds more plus minus. It's thousand uh, pounds more for our placement year. This is towards our academic or uh, our application process charges or, or, or something you call it. But in terms of tuition fees, it's no additional tuition fee. In fact, student gets benefited because they work with real industry. They get good experience and they are paid as per the UK, uh, you know, labor wages or the the payment industry. What is going in the subject or 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 the profession what they pick up, right? So. They are, they are very well paid during the placement year. Okay, so let me get one more question from the comment box, please. Hmm. So for getting a scholarship in MSc publication, how much affects if anyone have an own publication on Q3 journals and IELTS overall B6.5? So is it is possible to get 100% scholarships? Okay, so I can see Imran, uh, he, he looks very, very positive. So Imran, first thing is that 100% scholarship, uh, you know, you need to understand that from LSBU, what we offer, we offer international merit scholarship for students who have high grades in, in, in the academic year, right? So this is up to £4,000 is what we can offer. But in case if you are looking at 100% scholarship, perhaps you have to look at some of the external scholarship. You can yeah. go on to the British Council pages. You can also yeah. go on to your country scholarship pages, right? Different mm -hmm. trusts, different bodies can offer yeah, you 100% right. scholarship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, fantastic. Okay, any other things to add? Um, anything uh, else yeah. to add? Um, uh, I think yeah, that that's from yeah, my that's, side. That's, that's, I think so many things already you explained about the entry requirement. Already we know and already already you explained. 
So I think we can like, yeah, we can uh, like request all these students. If there are any questions or anything, they can come back to us or they can send us the email or inquiry. Also, we have a Facebook page, so they can make us inquiry on Facebook page. Also, we, we have people there to, you know, ask and you know, answer their questions. Also, anybody, anybody like we have WhatsApp uh, from like international WhatsApp. So anybody can from Bangladesh, Pakistan, okay? Every country have WhatsApp number. They can WhatsApp us for any questions if they have. Yeah, uh, Dr. Shafiq just wanted to highlight some of the USPs of London South Bank University before uh, we wrap up the session, mm -hmm. right? So we are a London-based university. We are in central, we are in zone one. We are in uh, south of London in Elephant and Castle. We are one campus university. So these things are something, sometimes it's very rare to find in a university which is based out of London, right? So these are some of the key uh, factor that the students should know when they apply to us. And our courses are professionally accredited. We also have been awarded graduate employment university of uh, two years in a row for the year 2018, 2019. We also have been awarded as the uh, best employment uh, you know, university of the year, right? So. So these yeah. are certain rankings. These are certain accreditations which actually believe in what we are doing, right? So we are very highly sorted after. We are very proud in giving the best career, the best student outcome, the best career goals to our student, right? So uh, most of the student who comes down to us, they are very proud to be a part of the, you know, London South Bank University community. Right? Absolutely, so, absolutely. And um, also to add on, uh, we have one camp, our accommodations are based on the campus, uh, you know, all the various facilities. We have invested more than five million pounds on our campuses, on our various facilities. We have the state of art studios, laboratories, research centers. So these are something, uh, these pointers are something very important once a student makes the choices to to apply to the university for the subject what they are looking at so london south bank university has everything to offer so when you make the university when you are deciding on the destination where to study so please consider please consider us do have a look if your uh, expectation or what you're looking uh, to study matches up with what we have to offer you can come down to our partner, uh, Boost Education is one of our very respected and uh, premium okay. partner. They can help you with the entire process of application or for, you know, help you with the visa process and can, can actually help you with, with all, you know, your requirement, right? Mm -hmm. Before you come and enroll yourself at London South Bank. Also University. the campus, uh, South Bank have now a couple more campuses, isn't it? For outside of yes. central London. Right. on campus and hovering campus. So can Correct. you please talk about these two campus, please? Okay, so our, uh, you know, the Havering campus, uh, it houses the School of uh, Health Sciences and uh, the Business Study. It's in the, uh, it's little in the countryside of UK sorry of london but uh you know it's, it has all the facilities to to be offered right our new yeah. campus is the croydon campus it's now open and we believe that it will play a very key role in our mission to transform lives communities business and society through applied education so um it the croydon campus is the latest uh string of exciting developments that we could offer to students it's situated in one of the city's biggest growing centers growth center and uh, we are also playing a very unique role in the regeneration of this uh, you know of this upcoming uh, place in London so Croydon is actually becoming our fast uh, you know London's largest growth center and it's our new home in electric house is the first and the only university in this uh, ambitious community so we are very excited uh this houses you know it's it's this particular place is home to very big businesses entrepreneurs and it has that very yeah. unique south london buzz right yeah. so you yeah. feel yeah. Uh, you you belong to this particular place it's very, it's very nice place yeah. croydon said very nice place yeah yeah so this is where we are, right? So we are the university, which is like the first one in the league to come up with the campus in, in this particular location. And we are very proud about that to give the unique experience to our students. Yes, thank you so much. You have shared so many information for London Southern University. Hopefully, yes, we're getting lots of inquiries anyway uh, from South Asia. So at the, at the last moment, 
So you can say something to for any specific for Bangladeshi student. Yes. Uh, so uh, thank you, Dr. Shafiq. And the last thing is that our application deadlines are, you know, down the corner. It's on 17th of June. So if you are considering to apply to us, please start putting all the documents together so that you don't miss the bus. Right. So start That's putting good. up your documents, start going to Boost Education, the counseling team, uh, they, they are the best one who can help you with the application process and to timely submit your application to us. So I wish all the students all the best and with a very positive outcome once the application is processed. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you all for joining and listening to me and being such a good and wonderful audience. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for everyone who just uh, Ask the questions also who join in our live session. Thank you to everybody. Okay, so we can finish here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank